Now let me show you some examples that we could play uh, rhythmically on this thing as ornamenting the arpeggio there, which it has a melody, but uh, that we will see later. Now we can play a bit of the rhythm part. Yes. for breaks, for phrases that could enhance the, the, the other players, the, the arpeggio, and because of the logic that it has it fra each phrase. Each phrase has a logic, and we can, we can try to place their phrases that makes the other people sound good, right? One principle is that, uh, I learned this from Chikoria, that he says, play things that make the other players sound better, uh, not, not how good we sound. Generally when we play in a group or something we try to, to shine ourselves and then let the others, well, we don't care what the others are playing. We should be playing in a way that we, we make the others play uh, sound better. That the final, the, the, the outcome, final outcome of the thing uh, is enhanced by what we are playing. That's why 
this is one of the most uh, important aspects that uh, learning to, to accompany and, and rhythmic rhythmic possibilities and many different strumming patterns etc then once we can make music with this that's the goal that we can create some music there so uh, you can try by using the the rasgueos by Paco to create uh, rhythmical patterns as if it were a percussion right I can play this can play this yes. as if I would as if I would be the caja player right Twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 